one more point over here. This may be useful for you. You might be thinking why in the select query series SQL view name is not uh, used, rather series view we are supposed to use, right? We are generally not supposed to use the series SQL view. That means SE 11 view, right? That name we don't put in the select query in our report or in another CDS, right? The reason behind that one is the security check, right? Migration of view to view entity will remove the SQL view during upgrade in inconsistencies may. So one point is that inconsistency. Second point is the security. Okay. Why, how the security, like if you're going to use, let's suppose you have created one, the security point is the biggest concern. You know, you have created the CDS view and this is having a SQL view name SC11 CDS, okay? You have created one CDS view and that's name is, let's suppose uh, C C CDS test, something like that. You have created one CDS. And SC11 view name is SC11 underscore CDS underscore uh, CDS test. Okay. So what happens like if you're going to use the uh, use uh, this particular CDS name in the select query, all the DCL data control language of the CDS. We have one DCL option in the CDS, which you know controls the execution of CDS. Like unwanted person will not be able to access the CDS level. Like the person who is not having authorization to access the CDS, they will not be able to access the CDS. That we can do with the help of DCL, data control language. So the problem, like if we're going to use this particular SC11, uh, you know, SQL in the select query, your DCL will not be imposed. That will not work. That's the biggest problem. You, so, but if you are going to use the CDS so view name, the CDS test in the select query, your data control language, like if you have created any DCL, that is going to take into effect. That is going to come into effect. Okay. So this is one point. Another point over here, migration of view to view entity will remove the SQL view. Okay. So when you are converting from old CDS to new CDS, right? Then in the new CDS, we know that the SC11 view will not be present. So if you use the uh, select query on SC11 view, you know, because SC11 view itself is now not present, then what will happen? It will not work, right? So that's why right. it's always good to use the CDS uh, view name instead of uh, uh, CDS SQL view. Hope you got some idea, right? Why we are not supposed to 